how to dress a diamond wheel. In this video, you guessed it, I'm going to show you how to dress a diamond wheel and explain the theory and behind it. Unfortunately, I cannot show you how to true a diamond wheel on this type of machine because it's only a pedestal grinder. I will also demonstrate how to indicate the side of the wheel to make sure that there's no more than 5,000 side run out. Don't forget to please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. So I've already taken the guard off and the wheel off. So now I want to mount the diamond wheel. Okay, put this arbor on. Put our diamond wheel on. Okay, double check, make sure everything's tight here. You don't want to over tighten this because it is possible to loosen this nut. And I actually did that with the earlier run. Okay, so I'm going to dial indicate the wheel. I am out a slight amount. Put our guards back on. address this wheel. I'm going to turn this a little bit sideways here. You might get a better view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stick and I'm going to push it in to the grinder this way. And I'm going to push it into the grinder this way and then repeat back and forth until I feel that this gets blown away or erased with ease. You don't want to go too deep. Let me see if I can try and explain why. Okay, let's pretend that this is the front of the wheel, okay? So this is our wheel. And with our stick going in this way on a slight angle, and our stick going in this way on a slight angle, when we first put the wheel on, the whole wheel is 100% bond. What we want to do is use this soft stick to wear away the bond and expose the grits. We want to go in an uh, angular pattern, and an angular pattern, so that we leave the back of the grit with bond supporting the actual grit. Now if we go too much and go crazy with the dressing stick, what will happen is we'll remove all of the bond and the grits will just fall out. And we'll prematurely wear the wheel down too much. And we don't want to do that. That's it. This wheel, this wheel has previously been dressed, so it really didn't need a lot. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Or if you have any questions on the theory behind how to dress a diamond wheel, leave them below. And if you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. And as always, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I will do the rest. Have a great night and enjoy. Thank you for watching my video.